everyone on YouTube, what Goku here? I just wanted to show you guys um, some performance of a new hard drive that I picked up for my AMD E350 1.6 GHz dual core uh, ITX computer, which is like my little server that I share files on. I ex I picked up a uh, Western Digital 1 terabyte 7200 RPM. It's called the Western Digital RE4, which is a RAID edition hard drive, which is like a enterprise storage serial ATA2. Uh, 3 gigabit per second uh, serial ATA uh, hard drive. And the thing that really surprised me with this hard drive is its durability and uh, just the performance in general. In these benchmarks that I'm running in this video, I'm going to compare all, all the drives are using serial ATA2 3 gigabit per second interface. So they all will kind of compare towards each other. I'm going to be running a Western Digital uh, 2 terabyte green hard drive which runs at uh, I think 5400 RPM it's a EADS model and then I'm going to be comparing that to the good old uh, 7200 RPM 1 terabyte Western Digital Caviar Black which is supposed to be their you know desktop performance model and then the RE4 Western Digital 1 terabyte uh, 7200 RPM drive that has 64 megabytes of cache where the, West, the Western Digital uh, Black only has 32 megabytes of cache and what's so outstanding about this Western Digital RE4 is it's made for nonstop, 24/7 use. You know, data reads and writes. You can just uh, just slam the hard drive of uh, data and just have it read and write all day for like server use. For uh, it's more intended for servers to be on 24/7. It's more intended for uh, like a DVR surveillance system where you're recording uh, surveillance videos to the hard drive. You know, 24/7. It's it's made for to be extremely durable and uh, it comes with a five-year warranty which is outstanding so you see the performance in some of these benchmarks that I'm running I'm kind of comparing this video with the uh, the two OCZ uh, vector SSD benchmark video that I made before because some of the uh, Western Digital one terabyte results I have already run before so if you see some of the dates on uh, the videos that's what it is I did run in some weird anomalies I ran into, which was um, SpeedFan. I don't know if you guys heard about that program. It has a smart test that's built into the hard drive that will tell you, you know, if your hard drive's about to fail, you know, it will warn you, hey, back up your data, stupid. You know, you're going to lose all your data because your hard drive's failing. So what it, um, some anomalies I noticed was this is a brand new fresh hard drive the Western Digital RE4 one terabyte that I just bought most reliable durable hard drive that uh, Western Digital makes you know so far it's you know for server use and I noticed that when I opened it up normally it will say 99% uh, um, hard drive wear you know so you have 99% life on mine it's a 94% and it, it showed like hard drive wear like my hard drive was extremely old but when I looked at the manufacturing date on the hard drive, is manufactured uh, March 23rd, 2013 of this year, after the Thai, I think it was the Taiwan floods that Western Digital had a long time ago, where it flooded their Western Digital factory and destroyed like thousands and thousands of hard drives. This is after that, so this should be the, the highest grade reliable hard drive that I have. You're probably wondering, why did I get a hard drive for this uh, ITX server? Well, I share... BitTorrent files 24-7 for three anime websites, you know, like HD files. And uh, I share it on BitTorrent where I'm trying to seed torrents, you know, almost 24-7. And one of my older Western Digital 1 terabyte black drives, which are really durable, just for me seeding torrents two years straight, 24-7 use, um, the hard drives would kind of like overheat. And then uh, I noticed I was getting bad sectors where my hard drive still works, but I'm getting bad sectors and it fails the smart test. So that tells me that I got to replace the hard drive soon. So I th thought this was a great opportunity to just pick up a uh, Western Digital RE4, which is outstanding, and uh, tell you guys some about some of the things I know about it. The noise, the idle noise, on the Western Digital RE4 is a little bit louder than the idle noise of a Western Digital Caviar Black hard drive. But the load noise, when you hear the actuator clicking heads, you know, when you're writing and reading data constantly, is extremely quiet on the RE4, and it's louder on the uh, the Western Digital Black, KVR Black. So that's something you got to keep in mind.
they kind of trade blows. One's quiet at idle speed where you're not doing anything, and one's more quiet at the uh, load when you're loading the hard drive and reading and writing files constantly. Uh, one thing I like to tell people when you have these mechanical hard drives, if you're doing stuff like I'm doing where you're running 24-7 BitTorrent or you're using like these hard drives on a server, backing up your data, even for a regular um, consumer desktop PC, is extremely important. I always try to tell people, back up your data. Um, don't rely on a RAID system, like if you have a RAID 1, a RAID 5, RAID 6. Don't rely your data on there. Just always have a backup. And the best backup that I would have is a hard drive backed up for each single hard drive. So if I have a 2 terabyte Western Digital uh, Green that I know is probably going to die soon, um, I'd back that up to a more reliable 2 terabyte Western Digital RE RAID Edition hard drive, and it would back that up. And uh, it's just a more secure way of keeping your data on there so you don't lose anything. You know, you got important pictures, videos. Um, this AMD E350 uh, 1.6 gigahertz dual core CPU does the job pretty well for low power usage. So that's why I'm using the hard drives in here right now. I have it set up as a Western Digital Black OS hard drive for the Windows 7 and then for the BitTorrent uh, C drive where I'm seeding all the torrents 24-7. I have that as the Western Digital RE4 hard drive, which is extremely reliable. Inside the Western Digital RE4 hard drive is uh, two actuator heads. I think there may be two or four actuator heads that are on the platters that read the data. And uh, I think the Western Digital Black only has the, the one or two. No, it only has one that reads across the data. So the more heads means like you know, it's more reliable if one of the heads fails. It's got a backup head, you know, kind of like a RAID 1 system. You know, it's got some kind of backup for it just in case one part fails. And uh, I'm very, very impressed with the reliability. Uh, when I ordered the Western Digital RE4 from TigerDirect.com, I think it was $126, which is kind of expensive. But it's uh, pretty much a server hard drive. It's made for reliability. When it came to my house, it actually came in from Western Digital's manufacturing um, that they have in the United States here, I think, or Taiwan or wherever. And it was shipped in an OEM box with a plastic cover, so it was, it was well protected. You could tell um, these Western Digital RAID Edition RE4 hard drives are stress test, stress tested before they leave the factory. They are burned in. They check for any errors on the hard drive. These are mechanical hard drives that are intended for RAID configurations, like if you want to run them in RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 6, RAID 5, RAID 10, you know, any kind of RAID that you want to run them in, they won't drop out of the RAID array. They're they're made for RAID. Um, they're made for 24-7 use. You're not going to wear them out. That's something I'm really impressed with. I have only had this drive for about two weeks. I picked it up about two weeks ago, so... I'm still testing the performance out. We'll have to test to see how reliable these are. I mean, if a Western Digital Black uh, 1 terabyte 7200 RPM drive can last 24-7 use of BitTorrent for two years, where I uploaded over 4 terabytes of data, um, that's outstanding. I'd have to see how this RE does. You know, it comes with a five-year manufacturer warranty, which is, you know, Western Digital's backing that up, you know. Now Seagate also makes another hard drive that's almost like this RE hard drive made for RAID. It's called, uh, I think it's like Conanestal or Cosiestal. It's an ES model. If you look at Seagate ES model, it's like almost like their enterprise storage uh, solution that they have. And uh, the reason why I don't recommend what, uh, Seagate hard drives to people is a lot of times the reliability is pretty bad. I've noticed a lot of people put the Seagate hard drives in servers and ran them like only six months and most of them died i'd say you know 50 percent died depending on the batch of hard drives or the model so i don't really recommend seagate so that's why on almost all of my computers i've been running high-end uh, western digital drives now on these benchmarks you can see the I'm, I'm extremely impressed with the western digital re4 one terabyte 7200 rpm drive that 64 megabyte cache really helps it gives that performance boost increase and, I mean, you can really see the difference. It's beating the Western Digital Black, like, huge. Like, I think, like, at one point, the Western Digital Black was only showing in Crystal Disk Mark 94 megabits per second read. 
and this Western Digital uh, RE4 is showing 115 to 130 megabits per second read. I mean, for a serial ATA2 hard drive, that's outstanding. I mean, we're almost seeing the performance of, like, you know, the first generation uh, Sandforce SSDs when they first came out, like the Vertex 1. We're starting to see hard drives go up to that little bit of a uh, performance mark, you know, of the first generation crappy SSDs, you know, the ones that didn't perform well. But for technology to increase that much, that's outstanding. Um, like I said, it's the RE4 is louder at idle speed when you're not doing anything. So if you had about 10 of these hard drives in a computer, you're going to notice about 2 to 5 decibel hot louder than the Western Digital Black. But the Western Digital RE4 is extremely quiet when you're loading the hard drive. You can't hear any clicking, like hardly any clicking noises. With the Western Digital Black, if I'm loading torrents 24-7, you're going to see the actuator head move back and forth. Or, I mean, you're going to hear it clicking everywhere, acting all crazy, because the actuator head's moving and it's stressing the hard drive itself. Um, I ended up picking some, they called the brand is Ultra Serial ATA 3 point, or, uh, Serial ATA 3 6 gigabit per second uh, cables, some black cables that were really cheap, those were only like 4 bucks. Um, temperatures, you'll notice, on, I, I ran a program called Crystal Disk Info, where it shows the info, information of all the different hard drives. The highest temperature that I got on the Western Digital RE4 was only like 38 Celsius, which is extremely cool temperature. But when I ran that same stressing test, when I copied uh, like a 100 gigabyte file from one hard drive to another, when I ran that same test on the Western Digital Caviar Black 7200 RPM drive, the temperatures went crazy at like 42 Celsius. And I've seen it get all the way up to 45 Celsius. So at idle temperature, the Western Digital RE is only running like between 30 to 34 Celsius, and the uh, Western Digital Black is running about 40 to 45 Celsius. So you can see the extreme temperature increase. Um, I definitely recommend, so far, I, can't, I mean, I can't say it yet because I don't know how durable these are. I'd have to tell six, six months or more down the road. But at this present moment, I definitely recommend people getting these Western Digital RE4 um, hard drives are extremely reliable from what I've been reading on the benchmarks. People are using them in servers, we'll have to see. And I'm so impressed and I'm thinking about maybe picking up another one and maybe running them in RAID 0 just for this ITX computer because when you run BitTorrent 24-7, it extremely uh, stresses the hard drive and I mean it can, it can break hard drives. It can t kill the lifespan of hard drives because it's reading 24-7. And a lot of my computers I leave on 24-7, so I really need a hard drive that can handle it. It won't die on me. Um, like I, on one of my other videos, I had a crappy Western Digital Green that only died. It only lasted me like three less than six months, so three to six months, and then it died. So yeah, I try to stay away from the Western Digital Green. That's just my recommendation. They're kind of like the cheapy basic model. Another extremely good hard drive that I wanted to mention, but I didn't have one on hand to test it for these benchmarks, is a Western Digital uh, RE, or no, what is it called? Western Digital Red Series, which is a NAS hard drive that you can use in a computer. They have almost the same technology that's in this Western Digital RE Rate Edition uh, RE4 hard drive. Um, there's like anti vibration technology in the RE4 um, Western Digital hard drive. That makes it so if you have like 10 of these hard drives stacked in one case, it won't vibrate the case that much. It, it kind of prevents vibration in the case. And uh, there's just tons of features and stuff like that. In the description, I'll put links to uh, Newegg, links on where to buy it and how much the pricing is and what, what the model numbers are so you can kind of compare them on different prices. I didn't have any Seagate hard drives to test at this moment. I'm just testing kind of a fair game of all Western Digital hard drives and different price points and different models, all Serial AT2 to try to keep it fair. Um, Serial AT3, 6 gigabit per second hard drives, you won't really see that much of a difference in the performance, maybe a little bit, but I mean we're at that point where we're not saturating, we're not bottlenecking uh, Serial AT2 when it comes to hard drive technology. We're not really bottlenecking it. That only comes into play when you're running SSDs because the SSDs will 
saturate and overpower serial AT2, so that's kind of why they made serial AT3 uh, 6 gigabit per second. So, you know, and we're almost at that point, you know, with the OCZ uh, vector SSDs, those almost just saturate the, uh, the serial AT3 gig 6 gigabit per second. So we'll have to see in the future. But, yeah, I'm very impressed with these uh, Western Digital RE4 hard drives and uh, definitely recommend them to everybody if you can afford it. You know, there's they're reliable. They're, I mean... If you're using an OS drive, I still recommend an SSD, you know, because you're going to get faster loading with an SSD for programs and pictures and everything and faster boot speed. But if you need, an SSD is too small in space. If you need a hard drive to store your data and you need it to be extremely reliable, you need to hammer that hard drive with torrents, you need to copy, you're doing video editing. That's another thing. If you're doing constant video editing and you're writing, you know, 50 60 gigabyte files to the hard drive that's going to put a lot of stress on it um i'll give you an example if i'm recording a 37 minute video of uh, battlefield 3 gameplay 100 percent video quality with msi afterburner that video file size just that one video that's 37 minutes can be 117 gigabytes uncompressed so i mean that's writing raw file to the hard drive and it's stressing the hard drive so you really want something that's reliable, something that's fast. I recommend 7,200 RPM hard drives. Um, in the performance numbers, when I was comparing this, I'm really impressed. This Western Digital RE4 one terabyte hard drive almost has the performance of a 10,000 RPM Western Digital um, Velociraptor. So they have those a 600 or one terabyte uh, Velociraptor. The performance is almost up in there, that 130 megabits per second read and write, you know. So as you can see in the benchmarks, I try to compare that. And uh, if you have any questions, you know, you can send me a YouTube PM message or anything. And I, I really hope this kind of gives you some uh, insight on these different models of hard drive. Like I said, if I had a Western Digital Red hard drive, the NAS, I would try to benchmark in that. But I apologize that I just want to do a benchmark for the hard drives I had on hand and uh, just try to compare them, you know, give you guys some insight on these. Definitely recommend these uh, Western Digital RE4 enterprise server raid edition hard drives and uh, when they mean enterprise edition that's like non-stop that's the strongest hard drives you can get enterprise enterprise is related towards servers you know running 24 7 constant you can beat the heck out of these hard drives and not kill them so i will be doing tests and see how long these last if they last at least you know t for me if they last at least a year hammering 24 7 they're super reliable and if the reviews i've been reading on these hard drives uh th not many people are dying you, you know the hard drives are not dying they're so strong i mean nothing can beat these things so uh yep i just hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any questions send me a youtube pm message and uh, i just want to say thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day